Gerbil vs Mach 3, which is better? When it comes to CNC, computer numerical control, machines having the right controller software can make all the difference. Two popular options are Gerbil and Mach 3, but which one is better? While both have their advantages, it ultimately depends on your specific needs and preferences. In this video, we'll compare Gerbil and Mach 3 and highlight 7 key factors to consider when choosing the right software for your CNC machine. From ease of use and cost to advanced features and compatibility, we'll help you make an informed decision on which controller is the best fit for your CNC needs. So, let's dive in and discover which is better for you, Gerbil or Mach 3. 1. Hardware differences. Gerbil vs. Mach, Arduino vs. Parallel Port. 1. The boards. All Arduino CNC controllers, like Gerbil, use a microcontroller, which is like a mini computer. Arduino boards have many pins for different control tasks. Mach 3 and Linux CNC use your computer's motherboard and its parallel port to access it. In this method, you have to buy an external motion device or a breakout board, because computers don't have parallel ports anymore. And you have to isolate your computer's motherboard from possible electrical current surges via optocouplers and extend its pins for wiring. Arduino CNC shields with Arduino controllers let you skip most of the wiring. This is especially useful for lasers, 3D printers, and small CNCs that use Gerbil. 2. Price Gerbil and G2 Core are free firmware, and the hardware, an Arduino and possibly a CNC shield, are very cheap. With parallel porting, you can use Linux CNC for free or buy Mach 3 for $175. 3. Control Software Differences If you have turned your computer into a CNC controller, then Mach 3, Mach 4, and Linux CNC are your only options for control software. Plus, since a lot of people are not comfortable with Linux, buying Mach is their only choice. Whereas, since Gerbil is a popular dedicated controller, you can choose between a variety of control software, UGS, Chili Pepper, OpenBuilds Control, Carbide Motion, Easel, CoolTerm, CNCJs, and more. 4. Ease of Use, Learning Curve, and User Interface As we mentioned, Gerbil enjoys an abundance of control software. Most of them are beginner-friendly. There is plenty of Gerbil support for beginners. Mach 3 has a steeper learning curve in comparison. Also, OpenBuild's control has a cool Gerbil feature where you can jog your CNC with your cell phone. 5. Capabilities Mach 3's advantages over Gerbil are in its capabilities. Mach 3 and Mach 4 can control a 6-axis CNC machine, but Gerbil can only control 3 axes. The newer Gerbil 1.1 can control 4 stepper motors. Mach 3 supports macro functions such as CAN cycles. G2 Core has different advantages which we won't discuss here. 6. Comparing Bugs and Issues Linux CNC generally has fewer bugs and issues than Mach 3. Gerbil is actively developed and has taken care of its major bugs. Still, they have not added a buffer wipe. Also, I suspect that Mach the third of may be more reliable than Gerbil for long operations, but I can't say that with certainty. 7. Room for future growth. If you spend time learning Mach 3 and it gradually becomes outdated, you've wasted your time. Generally, parallel porting with Mach 3, Mach 4, and Linux CNC is becoming outdated.
Turning a computer into a CNC controller eliminated the need for a dedicated controller. Gerbil was only the first open-source Arduino controller, and it has already stolen the spotlight from Mach 3. Additionally, G2 Core only occupies around 10% of its Arduino board's memory and it already offers 6-axis control. Mach 3 and Gerbil use different hardware setups. Gerbil turns an Arduino board into a dedicated CNC controller, whereas Mach 3 or Linux CNC uses your PC. In short, Gerbil is easier and more beginner-friendly than Mach 3. Gerbil has more control software options, and it's free and open source. However, Mach 3 can control 6-axis CNCs, supports CAN cycles, and controls a CNC in real-time. But other Arduino controllers are gaining these capabilities over time, which will make Mach 3 outdated in the future. We hope this video helped answer your questions. If so, give us a like, and follow us. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We will see you in the next video.